Hey everyone, it's Mona here, Craft Clutch. Today we are making a dragonfly wall hanging and we're gonna even create some resin wings. So I've been thinking about doing a dragonfly and I happened across this piece of wood at Michael's and I thought this is perfect. That along with this ball here, we're halfway to a dragonfly. That'll be the head of our dragonfly. But first, I'm gonna paint all of this black. I'm using black paint, but it's a metallic sequin paint, so it's gonna have a little bit of a metallic shimmer to it. Okay, what I've done is I've taken 16 gauge wire that I bought at the hardware store, and I bent it into the shape of wings. And then I just twisted it around itself right there and got it as flat as I could. I'm working on parchment paper, and I've mixed one ounce of the Easy Cast. I have a disposable brush. I have a little bit of Pearlex pigment powders in the purple, and I have a bunch of tissue paper that I've ripped up, and it's just plain white tissue paper. Now what we're doing is we're gonna create these wings, and normally with resin we try to seal paper so you don't have it um, soak into the paper, kind of make it see-through. In this case, that is exactly what we wanna do. Because dragonfly wings are often paper thin, they have that appearance, and they have kind of a, little bit of an iridescent look to it so I'm going to take a little bit of pigment powder drop it in and I'm going to take a piece of tissue paper larger than my wing I'm going to put it down I'm going to take the resin and my brush and just paint it with the resin make sure it gets nice and soaked because then it gets see-through Then I want to wrap it around, just like this. And add more resin. And let the paper stick to itself. Now you're working on parchment paper so that you can peel everything off at the end. But you just want to make sure that this tissue paper gets nice and soaked. and it's just plain white tissue paper and then I have littler pieces that I have um, soaked already and I'm gonna just layer them on here also and that'll give it a little bit of a pattern look on the wings and you can take big pieces, little pieces, it does not matter and then you're gonna let this all sit for a minimum of 12 hours before you pick it up but just keep layering it and let it let it just cure. Now while we're still at the sticky stage, I'm going to take a little bit of the glamour dust and just sprinkle it over. So there's a, just a little dusting of glitter. It's been roughly 12 hours. It could be, you know, 14 hours. That'd be fine. You just don't want to get too far past that 12 hours um, when you peel these off. And they peel off real easily from the parchment paper. And it's at a point right now where it's still flexible, so it's not going to like crack or shatter or anything. And I'm just taking old scissors, you don't want to take your good ones, and just trim around. And the resin is should be thin enough where you could just trim it. And then you could file the edges if, it, if they're not quite perfect. The nice thing about it now that we have these cut out, we're still at the stage where they're pliable and you can bend them a little bit if you want to, which is where the wire comes in, um, so they're not just perfectly flat. So you can move them and manipulate them a little bit still right now. And then as they continue to cure, they will stay the shape that you, you bend them. So before we get too far ahead of ourselves with the wings, we have to attach the head. And it just so happens that this hole in the bottom of the head perfectly fits a skewer stick. So now we just need to create a hole in the middle here. I have my Dremel tool and I'm just going to drill it right in there. So I cut the skewer stick to fit and I put it in the one end and then I'm going to put it on the other. There we go. And now all I want to do is add some of my ultimate glue because I know that's going to hold. Just get it right on in there, and it could be around this area too, and that should hold pretty nicely. I 
There we go. Clean up any of the glue that squirts out. And then you can just let that dry. And that should dry to a nice, nice strong hold. So I want to place my wings. And I know roughly where I want them to go. I want them to be up here. So I'm going to drill a hole right in the center. You just want to make sure the hole is big enough to hold four of the wires. So I'm going to cut them to about the length that I think. So now I'm going to just bend them where they meet here. Here we are so far. Now I haven't glued these in so they're still moving around but I was able to get them in. But I wasn't quite finished with the body yet. I just wanted to make sure before I got too ahead of myself that I had the wings shaped the way I wanted them shaped and then I could fit it all in there. But I want to make it just a little bit more magical. So I'm going to use the triple thick and you can use any kind of a glossy varnish and I'm going to take a little bit of this green pigment powder. I'm going to mix it in here. It's going to look cloudy because it's not dry but when the triple thick dries it'll dry clear. And this is why I only want a thin coat because I want the black to show through but typically the dragonfly bodies are a little bit iridescent so I'm going to go over all of it just one coat and when it catches the light you'll catch a little bit of that green shimmer. I've stuck the wings in there but I haven't glued them in yet. I just wanted to make sure everything fit. I'm going to use my ultimate glue, put some right on in there. I'm going to put the larger wires in first and then the smaller wings. So then I'm going to put some additional glue down on top of here. So to clean up our dragonfly wings and give it a little razzle dazzle, I've already started to put some fine purple glitter around this side. So look how much nicer that looks than this side. So I'm just going to use some glue. You can use the weld bond, you can use the um, ultimate glue, either one, whichever one you happen to have more of or whichever one you have better control of. Just line the edges of the wings with the glue. So once you get the glue on, just put that glitter right on there. Tap off any excess and then you go right back in the jar. It's time to wrap up our dragonfly. Now I have a bunch of glitter and glue right here and that's fine but I can never get it perfectly even. So I dug through some of my old resin pieces. Whenever I have a little excess resin, I'll throw it in a little mold. And I have this little flower one that has little specks of glitter in it. I think it's perfect right here because it, it kind of blends in too, because it's clear. So we're gonna add that there. But before we do that, I have to add the eyes. And I had these beads that I found on clearance, which I thought were perfect. Um, they have these little, almost like button, parts in the back. So I ground that down with my Dremel tool on these two. Just like that. Now we've got to glue them in place. And I'm going to use a combination of my Ultimate Glue and my Hot Glue because the Hot Glue will hold it in place while the Ultimate Glue dries. So I'm going to take a glob of the Ultimate Glue and then I'll add some Hot Glue right in the center. I want to carefully place this so I get it in the right spot. Okay, we are all finished with our dragonfly. Here it is from the front. We've got the eyes, we've got the wings. Um, we've got that thing that's not quite finished drying, but it's pretty close. The wings look pretty nice, and they've cured beautifully. So you can do this a couple ways. Originally, I had thought that I would just drill a hole in the back of the head um, big enough so that I can just put a nail or a screw in the wall and just hang it and it would be just hanging upright against the wall. Then my husband thought, no, wouldn't it be better to hang it? And I thought, well, that would be fun. You could hang it either with some fish line or you could even put in some eye hooks. Be sure to let me know what you think of our dragonfly. It is a pretty good size. You can certainly go with any colors. I wanted the wings to be kind of see-through, um, but you certainly could go with a bolder color too. So thank you guys for joining me here again for another craft. And thank you guys for coming back every week and watching. I always appreciate your comments. I read every one of them. I try to respond to them all. And if you haven't yet, remember to subscribe. And be sure to check out some of my other videos. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting. We will definitely see you next time.